Cory, why do you paint? Um, because I can't imagine a life without painting. So how long have you been painting for? Um, well, I'm a late starter. Mm -hmm. um, about 20, 25 years now. And um, did, did you receive any formal training as an artist? Well, what I told you before, that um, when it was my age to go to art uh, school, it was all about concepts and I wanted to learn skills, uh, mixing colors and so on. And um, well, that wasn't, uh, at that time, wasn't uh, the formal education. Now it is coming back again. And, uh, well, but at my time it wasn't, so I looked for other uh, things. I learned from a lot of good painters, especially in England. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like who? Tom Coates. Yes, was Tom a, Coates. Yeah. yeah, Tom was a good teacher, Ken Howard, I've painted with Ken Howard. Ken Howard. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, I was lucky to, to meet them uh, in uh, painting uh, trips and, well, just only uh, painting with them and uh, at the evening talking about art, learning about it. Yeah. Now I've come here, as you know, because I, I, I particularly liked your pastel style <laughs> yeah. and I <laughs> felt I had a, a lot to learn and I have learned a lot today. Thank you. But isn't it funny, I go to England <laughs> and you come to Holland. <laughs> well, that's, that's the way it is. Yeah, yeah. So, well, is, is pastels a particular interest? Would you say that... that, that which are the mediums that you most love to paint in? Well, it, it depends on, on the subject. Mm -hmm. I love painting movement and pastel is the subject, uh, the technique to, to paint movement. To do uh, little calves in, uh, in, in the stables, you have to work quick. Yeah. So that's why I use a lot of pastels or dancing. Uh, uh, people are dancing, then yeah. you don't have time to mix the colors because the dancers are gone and uh, the, the calf is the other way around. So that's why I uh, build it up with the uh, parcel. But when I do a, 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 a small landscape, then it, it's nice to do it in, uh, in oil paint. I do models to studies in the studio also with oil. So it depends on, on the subject and how, how long the time is being. Okay. Mm. So you wouldn't say, you, you don't have, an, you know, some people say, oh, I love watercolors, that's, that's my medium. Yeah. For you, you wouldn't say that then? You'd yeah, say, well, I think it, primarily it, it's pastel that yeah. I adore, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm more a pastelist than an oil painter. And you were saying earlier that, that not so many people in, in Holland paint in pastels. No, 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 it's more in England. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's in, in Holland there are not so many pastelists. Yeah. No, no. Well, I still think that's true in England, that most, um, I would say, watercolour overwhelmingly yeah, is, what, is yeah. what people seem to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, pastels also mm. more unusual anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and today we've painted, one of the things I've learned is that um, you don't use or you don't encourage your students to use lots of pastels. It, yeah. It's just like, what, 15? Yeah. Or 20, why yeah. is that? Why? But because a limited palette is, is uh, much easier to work on. You get confused with all this, these colors. If you have hundreds of colors, you don't know what to do. Sometimes I'm, I make a puzzle with 10, 10 colors, and that's it. Yeah. And people say, why so, such a limited uh, thing? But you can do it easily. It's more about tonal views than all these colors. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to do a colorful thing, well, when I'm at home, I think, oh, it needs a little bit more color. And then you know, I work on it in the studio after that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. When you, uh, and do you primarily work, when you're painting in pastels, yeah. we'll focus on the pastels just for a minute. Okay. Since that's why I'm here. Yeah. Um, roughly, how do you play, paint plein air or yeah. Yeah. mostly? I do pastels always on the spot or when there's a model, uh, I, I never work on photographs. Okay. No, it's, uh, I, I love to do it on the spot because you get an atmosphere you, you won't achieve when you are painting from a photograph. Well, that's my way. Yeah. There's several, a lot of men, many people do it the other way, but yeah. that's my way to do it. And, and when you're there doing the painting, would do you aim to start, finish the whole thing? 
Uh, on, on location? No. Or, or in uh, sometimes I uh, finish when it's 90%, I think. Maybe I have to finish it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So that I don't overwork it. Yes. And sometimes I come in the studio and say, oh no, it's finished. Right. So that's why I always try to uh, stop one step in front. Because you, well, you're very uh, difficult to judge your own work when you're focused like that. Yeah. Mm. And when, when, you've, you know, when, when you've got a painting, a pastel painting that you're, you're happy with, well, well or, or a number of them, what do you like to do with them? I mean, do you like do you, you like to exhibit to sell them? Yeah, well, what's, it's my what's job. I'm a, I'm a painter. I'm yeah. a professional painter, so I, I work for exhibitions and yeah. yeah. And how many exhi exhibitions would you aim on doing a year? Oh, do you think roughly? Oh, uh, well, I have quite a few galleries in in Holland. Sometimes I exhibit in London in the Mall with the Pastel Society. Yes. I have one in Paris mm -hmm. too. So that these are two abroad and I think I have seven galleries in Holland, so, right. so wow. seven, eight, yeah. So you work hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a full-time job, more yeah. than a full-time job. Sure. Mm. So if somebody was starting to paint pastels and they've never painted pastels at all? No. There was one in this workshop, okay. never painted pastels before. Mm. What would be the... You know, if they, it would be lovely if they came on a course like like today. But but if they couldn't, if you were just on the telephone and they just said, "Corey, start me off. Um, <laughs> just give me a couple of hints that mm -hmm. I can that I can just have in my mind." Yeah. When I as I'm struggling, what, what how would what would you advise them? Yeah, I would advise them what I told everybody yesterday, uh, today: don't draw. Just try to block in like a painting and just see when you have a background from a landscape, put it in just just one in, in one go. Just uh, try to compare the tonal views yeah. with each other. Mm -hmm. So if you are an oil painter and you've done a lot of oils, build it up like an oil paint. Mm -hmm. So your, your tonal, uh, I always use um, a grayish paper, so that's the middle tone, and okay. then you work from light to dark. Lighter or darker yeah. Yeah. from the, the middle tone. Yeah, like, so. like an oil paint. So, so yeah. the ideal piece of paper is like a mid-gray, yeah. perhaps? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. And uh, thank you so much for taking this extra time to, to talk to me. I uh, really appreciate <laughs> You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> um, finally, what's it like? Teaching people like you've done, you know, teaching people like me oh, and all these. It was, uh, it, like? it, it, it was one of my first times. Well, I thought it was very inspiring to see all these uh, different approaches because I try to explain something and then everybody will do it its own way. Yeah. Oh, well, I enjoyed it. Well, I've had a great day. Good. I really enjoyed it. I'm Honestly, happy. Thank you so much. Happy.